Yeah, welcome to uh, Akul Mac Business Channel and today in this series of Grit and Glory, we will be discussing about a very profound personality, um, uh, Sumiti Murarji. When we talk about Sumiti Murarji, uh, uh, I really feel proud uh, to, to discuss about uh, this personality because she was the first woman, Indian woman, uh, uh, who uh, is credited to become the first woman in the world to had an organization of uh, ship owner and uh, which is called Indian uh, National uh, Steamship Owner Association and later it was uh, renamed as Indian National Shipper Association which has been traditionally a main bastion but we have a lady by the name of Sumiti Murarji and uh, she had it, this organization. So that uh, I'm really proud to really speak about uh, the, the, uh, the person, the lady Sumati Moraji. Now when we are talking about, about her uh, early life, uh, so she was born uh, uh, in a family of uh, Mathura Das, Gopal Das and his wife Prema Bai in Mumbai. And uh, she belongs to a rich uh, family. Um, and uh, she was named as Jamuna. Um, the, the Jamuna name itself is associated with uh, with a, a very uh, sacred river in India. And uh, later, according to the contemporary custom in India, uh, she was married to the only son of uh, Naruta Morarji, the founder of Sindhya uh, Steam Navigation Company, which later grew to be India's latest shipping firm. Now, when we're talking about um, uh, Sindhya's uh, uh, steam navigation uh, company, she was included into managing uh, the company in uh, uh, at the age of uh, 14 and the year was 1923. Sumiti built uh, from the humble beginning and, uh, of, of this organization. She started and she uh, has uh, uh, retired, paralyzed few vessels in the company and gradually developed it till she assumed full power, full charge of the company in uh, 1946. And uh, you know that she was managing around 6,000 people at that moment. She was already uh, on the board of director and uh, her expertise in the shipping trade de uh, developed uh, more than many years. And due to her amazing uh, uh, skill, she was also elected uh, as a president of Indian uh, National uh, Steam uh, Ship Owner Association in 1956. And next two years, um, she uh, rose uh, and she developed, she supervised uh, this association. And uh, around uh, 23 shipping vessels were uh, there under her supervision and around 5, like 52 tons of uh, dead weight which she was supervising. Now, from uh, 1979 to 1887, uh, sorry, from 1979 to 1987, she was chairperson of the company until the government took over this uh, Sindhya steam uh, navigation. She was later appointed as a chairperson uh, in the company until 1992. This is a huge uh, span of her career when we talk about uh, Sumati. Uh, uh, Morarji and uh, I would also want to discuss about the accomplishment uh, accomplishment which uh, is goes with her personality. She was founder of Sumiti Vidya Kendra School in Juhu, which is in Mumbai. She also provided a safe passage for Swami Prabhupada, the founder uh, of uh, SCON. And uh, when we talk about uh, Swami Prabhupada, uh, we cannot miss the name uh, uh, Sumiti uh, Morarji because she has a uh, she was so uh, in depth uh, um, with with the society, uh, the society of Krishna consciousness, consciousness, which we call SCON nowadays. And a part of this, she was also elected as vice uh, chairperson of Nuruta Morarji Institute of Shipping, and uh, that has also made a name uh, in coming year. She was instrumental in bringing Sindhis and Pakistanis uh, during the partition of India, and that is a huge work when we really think of the situation and how she really extended her help towards these people who wanted to come to India after the partition. She also established uh, um, 
to a model of modern Indian shipping companies on offer the word not only the business value but also help propagating the ideas that uh, India is a great country and in culture and heritage uh, she has uh, she has given her uh, her uh, support and uh, help to really propagate and one of that aspect is uh, uh, associate uh, association of her with ISKCON organization now. Uh, she has uh, she has uh, put a very famous uh, quote which I would like to read for you. Uh, she said, "It is not purely for business motive that we today concentrate on shipping. We want our people to travel abroad and uh, and the foreigners to see our ancient land. Uh, it has been uh, the Indian tradition to export the." best to foreign countries and we did the business in merchandise for the centuries but our most uh, precious cargo has been the idea of uh, universal brotherhood and deep spirituality so our tradition of, of our uh, goodwill is all to continue throughout and uh, this is what uh, Sumati Moraji used to believe in and she used to propagate uh, and uh, we know that she has been awarded with uh, Padma Bhushan, the second highest civilian honor of India in uh, 1971 for her service. So this is what I wanted to share with you and uh, give you uh, insight about uh, this uh, uh, profound lady. And uh, uh, I would like to really, uh, people should know the contribution of uh, Sumiti Murarji in terms of cultural, in terms of business, in terms of uh, shipping uh, uh, establishments. So uh, this is what I wanted to uh, share with you and we'll be meeting again with next uh, uh, grit and glory personality in our next uh, session. So till then, bye bye. and meet you.